Hello, I'm Christy Moore. I'm the author of Tom, a novel of a pianist sent to war based on the life of my grandfather. This video is about how I know key events in the story. Tom has done his training. He is now ready to join the war. Tom travelled from Southampton to Le Havre, to Paris, Rouen, Arras, Epes, Poppering, Haysbrook, Calais, Dover, Chichester, finishing at Eastbourne. How do I know this? Well, my grandad listed the places he visited in his scrapbook. This is me coming into Le Havre when I went on holiday in Normandy. This is where my grandad would have come into aboard a ship I believe to be the SS Huntscraft. This was a German ship that was captured by the British and converted to a troop carrier. Then to Paris where he probably would have been prepared to go to the front. I don't know if he went up the Eiffel Tower but one doesn't go to Paris without going up the tower. Even my mum has been up there. And finally, before actually going to the front, Tom played a concert at Arras, as shown by his scrapbook. Here is Tom in the middle with his army pals, presumably before he went to the front. Unfortunately, there is no date on the photo. Now, Tom may have been around for the Messines Ridge explosion, but I can't be for sure. British engineers tunnelled under the German defences and filled the tunnels with explosives. In the early hours of the morning on the 7th of June 1917, they were detonated. This caused an explosion sending rubble nearly 250 metres high. It's here that I have Tom meet his army friend Cecil, a fictitious character. Tom and his platoon would have marched through Epes, a beautiful cloth hall seen here, reduced to rubble during the conflict. The soldiers refer to the town as Wipers. Here is a 1917 map of the Epes area. A closer look shows Springfield Farm. How do I know he was stationed at Springfield Farm? Well, again, his scrapbook gives the answer. He drew a diagram of the area. Most new soldiers would have not gone straight to the trench. It's more likely that they and Tom would have been involved in moving supplies just behind the line at Springfield Farm. Usually, it was four days out and four days in, so sooner or later, Tom would be going to do trench duty. There is something else I need to point out and that is the British armies at the front in 1917. The post office rifles were officially known as the 8th London Regiment. At the start of the war it was split into two, the first sent to the front at the beginning of the war while the second were not sent over until January 1917. In April 1914, a 3rd 8th Regiment was formed, which from January 1916 was stationed at Fobant. It was this regiment my grandfather belonged to. But wait, there is a discrepancy in my grandfather's notes. It shows on his map that while he was stationed at Springfield Farm, he was in the 2nd 10th London Regiment. Why? Out of all the armies, there was one division called the London Regiment, officially known as the 58th Division. This was divided into many brigades, one of them being the 174th London Brigade, containing the 6th, 7th, 8th London Regiments. Another was the 175th London Brigade, containing the 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th London Regiments. My grandfather went to the 10th because the 3rd 8th London 
was used as not just as a reserve for the 8th Regiment, but for any regiment within the 58th Division. It took me a while to figure this one out. But I wanted Tom to be in the post office rifle in my novel for two reasons. The first being the post office for which he worked for had a regiment at the front. And secondly, I wanted to include this man in the story, Sergeant Knight. He was the only post office rifle to be awarded the Victoria Cross for his bravery at Verst Farm. I had him charge an enemy machine gun post twice, for which he really did. The change didn't matter much to the story anyhow, as both regiments were in the Third Battle of Eats, or Battle of Passchendaele, and therefore in the same area. If you enjoyed this video, buy the book Tom from Author House or Amazon, or alternatively go to my website christymore.co.uk, which will give you all the links.